Oh, oh, what the hell was that? Hello? While traveling to Georgia, a friend of mine told me about a mysterious bridge that is known to be haunted. Spook Bridge. I decided to check it out during the day first for safety reasons, but was not expecting what was going to happen later. So here is the entrance to Spook Bridge. And as you can see, this used to be a road. There's the road right there. And it's now abandoned. This is gonna be a fun walk. Didn't know it was gonna be like this, honestly. I thought we were gonna be able to just drive our car right up to this bridge, but that's how much I know about this, which is not much. I've only read a couple of the tales. There's a couple that I'll share with you. One of the tales involves a man and his wife. I guess there's a house that's nearby, and this man used to abuse his wife. And one day, she was standing on the bridge. What's the matter? I hear something behind us. Did you really? Yes. John's like freaking out over here. But anyways, uh, one day his wife was standing at the bridge and he pushed her over. I guess this bridge goes over a pretty big river. Now, not sure how big the river is. We'll find out here in a second, but it's what I read online. And she ended up dying. And they say that the bridge is now haunted by the man's wife by a woman now one of the urban tales i heard as well is that there was a school bus and i'm not sure exactly when this happened if i had to take a guess i'd say the 1950s or 1960s but this school bus went over the bridge carrying a bunch of children and went on the side and everyone everyone drowned what you going to die tonight what <laughs> oh, oh what is that Bro, that's a hunting stand. There's something right there. There's what? I don't know what it is, but there's something big right there. Big? Big. Big black thing. I don't know, it looks like a maybe an old shack or something. This would go along with the deer hunting stand right behind us. Yeah. <laughs> that could be a bait stand. That could be a bait. And right there's where he shoots from. All right, I hope we don't get shot. <laughs> two of us. I didn't see like a do not enter or no trespassing sign. Yeah. Or else I wouldn't be back here. It just looks like a an old abandoned road. So um, you got, do got to be careful going to places that are abandoned. Sometimes they're owned by property owners that are not very nice. Oftentimes they're just owned by banks and maybe owned by the state or whatever and they just want you to stay away for your own safety. Bro, you heard that? I heard like a woman mumbling. Yeah. All right, let me know if you see or hear anything. I mean, I know I do a lot of videos at 3 a.m., but if a place is haunted, it's going to be haunted at 3 p.m. <laughs> I, I mean, it's around 7 p.m. right now with the whole time change thing. Uh, that's why it's so bright out right now so there's a chance you might catch some of this video being at night depends on how long we stay here i mean usually with a bridge you can't see a whole lot but here's some water right here that's probably connected to that river it's just like a big mosquito nest or maybe this is the river this is kind of dried up you know it's crazy out of the whole time we've been in georgia I have not had one bug near us. Yeah, I haven't Get got bit. Here, I'm just getting hit with noises like crazy. Now the movie Spook Bridge that was filmed here and it was actually inspired by true events. I have not got a chance to watch it. I wish I would have before visiting here, but I had the chance to come here. My van broke down not too far from here and I was kind of looking up haunted places and I stumbled across this and I was like, hey, gotta check this place out. This place seems so cool. 
And also, I did have some fans reach out to me on a live stream that, you know, I was opening up fan mail and they had mentioned this place too, so shout out to you if you mentioned this place to me. Damn, we're pretty far from the car. I like it's half a mile in from where we were. You smell gun ammo? A little bit. You smell like ammo. Yeah. Whoa. What the hell was that? All right, I was just gonna tell you, hey, I found the bridge and I heard something in the woods right here see that <laughs> I turned the camera. What is over there? Hello? You heard something, didn't you? Yeah, I heard it. Whoa, dang, that looks so cool. Keep your eyes open, dude, for things that are dangerous. Oh, it seems some of the guardrails are missing. Now, I've heard that the city is trying to tear this down because it's so dangerous. Oh, it's not even made out of wood. I thought it was... I did do. Okay, I thought it was gonna have like missing like boards or something. I mean, it is dangerous, but... I mean, it's not super bad. Just make sure you don't fall in a hole or something. That would hurt. Plus, it would camouflage. Yo, this one time, dude, oh, I was in Tennessee, and I was walking around an abandoned house. This is really scary, and it freaked me out, and it made me, like, realize how dangerous. And for you, it should probably open your eyes to... You know, we do put our lives on the lines when we when we make these videos. But anyways, I was walking around this abandoned house. It was supposed to be haunted. It was registered as a haunted house. We're walking around it, James and I, and I kind of stepped on something kind of hollow right next to the house. It was a freaking sewer plate. And like when I, when I stepped on it, because it had like, almost had grass and stuff over it. Yeah. Dude, when I stepped on it, it went straight down. And it was open. Oh it was like kind of, it wasn't all the way in yeah. the sewer plate. So I could have fell. I, I don't even know where I would have fell, but it, I would have probably gotten injured very, very severely. And it scared the living daylights out of me. I've never been that scared because it was just, it was like a surprise. So, I mean, hey, if you don't already, make sure to give my videos a like. I put my life on the line to make cool videos for you. I make entertaining videos for you. We go to dangerous places sometimes. This is supposed to be one of those dangerous places. Like I mentioned, the city is trying to tear this down. Now, we're gonna spend a little bit of time here and find out if it's haunted. Might spend, you know, the night out here too. I don't know, I guess it depends on. I feel like walking a little further. Walking a little further? Yeah. They say that there's supposed to be a house nearby that was owned by that husband and wife. And that wife is the one that I, you know what's crazy is I heard a woman back there. Yeah. I remember hearing a woman. I wonder if it was the woman. Something, though, is telling me to keep going, for us to keep going this way. I don't know what it is. Something right. just says keep walking a little bit. All right, we're going to come back to the bridge. And, yeah, John kind of has this feeling to go this way. Yeah, the way I was visualizing this place, I thought it was going to be way more dangerous. I mean, this is, what's dangerous about this? Other than you can fall off. I mean, the guardrail is like missing a little bit right there. I mean, but I mean, you'd have to intentionally go. Hmm. And there's no river. There used to be a river here, I guess. It goes to show you the, the age. See that? Oh, let's go underneath it. <laughs> I just fell. Did you get that on camera? But I fell on my butt. I usually fall on my face, but I got lucky that time. Um, yeah, I did get that on camera, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, most of the time, bridges are made for what? To cross over water or water bodies ways. of water. Back in them days, that's all they would do. Uh, there's no water here. You can tell there used to be. This is an old dried up river. That's probably one of the main reasons why this isn't used anymore. Because it's really not serving its purpose. And... Dang. 
Bro, you have mosquitoes swarming around you right now. I should have got some mosquito spray. Some other thing right there. There's a bunch of weird shit down here. Is there? Yeah. Maybe this is the dangerous part of this bridge. <laughs> Being underneath? Being underneath it. You know where, where your average person doesn't go? Yeah. Look, there's some other metal things right there. Dude, these mosquitoes are bad. Are those candles? What? Oh, look at that old tree trunk. I know. We've been getting attacked by mosquitoes really bad while being underneath that bridge. I can't imagine being here at nighttime. I mean, bro, mosquitoes, aren't they worse at nighttime? Yeah. I mean, I know the ones in Florida are. After a short walk, we found a bridge that we thought was Spook Bridge. There was nothing online talking about two bridges. I found it rather strange that my friend John had this feeling to keep walking past his first bridge, as if he felt there was something calling us to walk a bit further. We walked a little bit further up, and it looks like... I mean, there's a little bit of a trail, but it kind of looks like there's a lot of brush here. See, there's the road, and the bridge is behind that. Further up? I do see a river. Maybe it was the old river? Not sure. Wait a minute. Bro. Dude. This is the bridge. Oh, and I it's get trouble. Yeah, this is why <laughs> they want this taken up out. This is the actual bridge, bro. The other bridge was not it. This is Spook Bridge right here. Wow. You could see it right there. Yeah, this is definitely more dangerous. Bro, you need to get up here, dude. Here, hold my camera. Oh, this is cool. All right. <laughs> this is actually really cool. That other bridge we passed earlier, it's pretty clickbait, but we still need to be very careful because, oh, I, I honestly. Did you see that noise over there? Yeah, I did. It was like a hum. Oh, dude, look, a freaking owl. Oh, cool. Careful with where you walk, bud. Yeah. Oh, he took off. Aw. I guess my uh, feeling of keep going up was good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. Look, John had a hunch. Bro, there's still a river. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the actual river. So this river was bigger though. It, it did recede. Yeah. If you look that way, you could still see water. This is actual bridge right here. Spook bridge. Oh, it is dangerous too, man. There's holes. Oh, this is high up. Wow. I mean, it's still not that dangerous. What does that say? Something stink, Jonathan. 8, 15, 17. Dude, this is spooky. I ain't gonna lie. This is pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda scared to even be this close to the edge, but I want to. Yeah, you would not be feeling too good if you fell. Jeez. Yeah, this uh, this river was bigger than this, though. Yeah, you can tell because that, that tree right there is that water root. Bro, this would suck like if it crumbled oh, underneath dude. us while we're walking on it. <laughs> so much money lost. Not only so much money so lost. So much money or lives. Life. <laughs> There's something right up there on the side of it, on the bridge. Oh, there's a house right up there. Oh, yeah. Is that the house that used to belong to the husband and wife? Is that a dog or yep. like a coyote? Yep, it's a dog. So someone more than likely owns that house either. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, there's somebody over there. 
They're wearing pink. Oh, I see them. They cut something off of here, dude. Look. Maybe it was a sign. But for what? I don't know. Bro, this is really high up. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That would hurt, bro. Did we walk on that? Uh, well, I mean, it's not bad luck. I don't, I don't think that's not an evil star. It's not the like the satanic star. Yes, it is. Is it? I'm not sure. I don't know about you, but I'm getting bit by mosquitoes on my freaking face. I got one right there. Oh, you got one? <laughs> yeah. Dang. You know, I'm glad I wore long pants. This bridge just keeps on going and going. So we're gonna go, but I do want to avoid going. Dude, you could actually see it. What the hell was that? Bro. Dude, did you hear that? Hello? Did that come from under the bridge? Hello? There's somebody under there? We need to go under there. How would we get under there? I don't know. I can only... What did you hear, dude? I heard a whisper and it sounded like help. Yeah, it did. Should I call the cops? Hello? Dude, there's like nowhere, no way to get down there. That wasn't you, was it? I was right next to you. Dude, you don't think that was that woman? I don't know, man. This thing keeps going, though. Yeah, this is a pretty long bridge. What do you feel like is over there? Uh, a giant hole in the bridge. Like, the sides are gone. Oh, oh. And there's Shh. What the heck was that? Dude, it sounded like somebody was walking down there. Hello? Shh. Well, could you imagine if we came here at nighttime and we went to that first bridge and we just would have stayed there? <laughs> I know, right? And we missed out on this right here. We've been hearing all kinds of noises. And that that whisper really freaked me out. I, I'm still believing like there's somebody down there messing around with us. There are neighbors close by. I don't want to be too rowdy. That's why I kind of am not talking very loud too. You can tell this really, really was a lot more water. Oh yeah. <laughs> want to go for a jump? No. I do not want to fall. What does this say? 50 feet. I think that was a turkey. What is that? I don't know. Are you talking about that like the high pitch? Yeah. Is that like whistling or something? I don't know. What the heck is it? I'll tell you what. This bridge is not clickbait. And there's a reason why they made a movie here. I mean, I haven't spent much time here. <laughs> We've heard so much. Including turkey sounds. Dude, look. This has shot. This has shot up. Someone was shooting at that? Oh, you're right. Little nine mils. <laughs> you can see somebody try to shoot. What the feet. heck is that right there? That's a slug. That looks like a nah. Nah. That's too small. Probably forty-five. No, nah, forty-five is a little smaller than that. I don't know. It would Could still be make a bigger hole. Afterwards. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I don't want to get shot. Yeah, you definitely don't go this way. <laughs> well, I'm gonna check over here on this side. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're getting under that bridge. Yeah, I think that's your demise. At least from here. I mean, there's probably an easier way over there. Now, you might be wondering, hey, how come you didn't just come here at nighttime? Usually when I go somewhere, especially when I hear dangerous stories about it, 
uh, including, I mean, not, not really the haunted stuff, more or less, but the physical dangers, you know, like they're going to tear this bridge down because it's hazardous. I like to go during the daytime, and that's with a lot of places. It's good to go during the day. If you're going to explore, before you go at nighttime, go during the day, and then come back at night. That way you kind of have a good general idea of how the layout is, and if there's any dangers, you can kind of know where they're at, you know what I mean? I've been to plenty of places, like I was mentioning, with holes in the ground, and it, it's pretty scary. If you go at nighttime, I mean, oh my gosh, I mean, imagine, imagine falling into a hole that you would have seen during the day. Let us do the nighttime exploring, okay? I wouldn't recommend you do, I mean, unless it's like a, like a house or something, haunted house, but make sure it's safe to go into, and make sure you're not breaking the law. I think this might be where the bus went in at. Oh, yeah. Because that's the bars that go across. Oh, I see it, yeah. All the see concrete. That one right there. So is this where the bus went? Maybe they... Maybe they closed this off after that accident happened. Maybe. Oh, there's some really neat graffiti over there. Somebody's been down there. Somebody smarter than us. No, you know what? You got to keep going straight. Yeah. And then you could go underneath. You want to try to check it out underneath? Why not? Let's, Let's go check it, it out. Well, this is our way to go underneath the bridge. If you want to see more daytime type exploring haunted places or even just cool places this is a really cool place i mean regardless i happen to feel like it's haunted i still cannot explain what we heard back there it sounded like help to me i mean there are times where we go to places that people say hey this place is haunted and you know you, you might ask like hey uh oh. you know what i just heard somebody i've seen somebody on like a golf cart in the woods hope they're not going to shoot at us Oh boy, check that out. Oh, I'm glad we like came down here. More fell than we know it about. Oh, yeah, check that out right there. That's a big old chunk of concrete that fell. Oh, that thing looks like it's dangerous. Well, a lot of people come up here probably just to chill and, you know, drink. Right. You could see some beer bottles and stuff. I don't think that's concrete from the bridge. I think that's just the. Uh, there was like concrete for the bottom, like for the, the water to run through the sides. Like the water would run through here. This was probably connected to some kind of spring and the spring dried up. Could be wrong. Well, since, since the bridge isn't serving a purpose anymore. Oh gosh, I hate spiders. It's probably why they didn't bother to fix it. Yeah, this bridge is way cooler than the other one. That first one was like a disappointment. I was like, this is Spook Bridge? <laughs> I'm glad that you had, I don't know. That was really weird. John had like this feeling. He was like, man, we, we need to keep going for some reason. So water used to run right through. I mean, it would probably come through here too. I'm thinking more, more or less over there, but probably all over here. What are you doing over there, John? <laughs> John is trying to save the river. He's trying to bring it back. He's going pee pee. I want to show you something really cool. This was done by a really good artist. I mean, you could go ahead and screenshot that if you want. Tag me on Instagram. No, that's like a, I don't know, an alien hand or something. Dang, that's cool. John just found something interesting. That is from an assault rifle. What do you think that is? Uh, what does it say? Six, maybe. Uh, that's it's a pretty good size round. I don't know what it is about being under bridges and mosquitoes, but like my arm is like all chewed up. Like they're like really hooking me up. Dude, what if the people that live over there are just 
like they shoot at people out here. Well, I guess we're their next target. I don't want to be their next target. I'm really just, don't. I mean to. Well, I, I mean the fact that you found the actual round there, that means somebody was shooting it there. Yeah. Because like that's not the actual projectile that comes and travels this yep. way. This is just sitting water. Like this is a perfect mosquito oh, you can nest. See all the mosquitoes chilling on the water. I don't think I'm gonna come back here at nighttime, honestly. I mean, there has to be like a really good reason for me to come back here at nighttime. Like, I mean, if this video gets 50,000 likes, damn, I don't know, man. I, I don't even think I'd do it for that. 100,000. 100,000 likes? All right, 100,000 likes. I will come back here and do a 3 a.m. You know what? I will do not only do a 3 a.m. challenge, but I will come here. I have to bring mosquito spray. And uh, I will spend the entire night on Spook Bridge. And you know what? I will come by myself. If I happen to bring James or maybe John or one of my other friends. Yeah, I'll come by myself. But if I do bring them, we'll split up. That way it's, I, I don't know, I just feel like I should come by myself. Let me know. Should I bring James? Should I bring Mo? Should I bring Patty? Some of my friends? Should I just come by myself? That house right there that we're looking at in front of us is the house that belonged to the woman who haunts this bridge and was murdered. There's also a tale saying that she was murdered in the house by the bridge. Now, there's two different stories. One about her being pushed off the bridge and then one, but she was murdered by her husband. And that's how the story goes. I absolutely hate mosquitoes. I don't know why there's a reason for them to exist in this world. Like, why do we have to share the world with bloodsuckers. It's just like love bugs. You know why they were created? To kill mosquitoes. To kill mosquitoes. You know what they do? Nothing. Nothing. They do nothing. But you know what? Love bugs, they only come around, I don't know, in Florida at least, they come around in spring and in fall. That's it. Guess they get all over your car. Well, it's still early. Early spring. They'll start coming out pretty soon. I haven't seen many of them. But they, I mean, there's times where it's snowing love bugs. Dude, I could have sworn I saw somebody with a red shirt on. Maybe they're over here. Hello? Did you see it? No. Like I heard like bushes moving and I seen somebody standing here. It's like somebody with dark hair. And it looked like they were wearing red. Like a red shirt or, I don't know, red dress or something. I'm not sure what this says. It's something about Jonathan again. And at August 15th, 2017. Amanda? Is that Amanda? Maybe. Yeah, Amanda. Jonathan, so, I, I can't read what that says. Let me know if, uh, oh wait, that says Heather, I think. Is that, I don't need, I can't, I can't read messy graffiti and bad cursive we do have a walk back so i'm gonna leave whoa hold up what help does that say help h-e-l-p-e -E. where's the l that looked like an l when i walked past it oh man <laughs> i think you just took an l because that doesn't say help <laughs> it looked like it real quick <laughs> that says help i don't know what that says all right, we are back on the main bridge. You can see those columns right there. I'm not sure if they serve a purpose, but I say they're pretty spooky looking and they definitely look cool. I think we should bring Mo here. What do you say? <laughs> oh, we're just kind of chilling here, enjoying the silence and enjoying the bug bites. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty certain I don't want to come back here. Bro, look at all those bugs. I know. They were like swarming me a second ago. But what's even creepier to me is the water just got like pretty foamy. It was Did like, it? It was nice clean top. Minus the little ripples from everything under the water. Bro, I know you f heard that. Yeah. What the hell was that? I have no idea. What did that say? Mm. I'm 
telling you, this is the same bridge. The same bridge where we heard that help. Hello? Who the hell's down there? Stop messing with me. Dude, it sounded like it was right underneath this bridge. That right there, what whatever I just heard, makes me want to come back here. But, I mean, this is about four hours away from my house. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Let me know if you want us to come back here at night and spend the night. And uh, let me know by liking this video. Yes, I said like again. Like, 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 like. <laughs> hey, ghost, do you like me? I will take you. Did you said to take me? Or, I think that's what I heard. I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and listen to this video once I edit it. If you didn't know, I do have a daily vlog channel, and if you do follow that channel, you've probably seen me visit this place before I release this video, and I do that a lot. I do behind the scenes, plus you get to know me a little bit more better as a person, you know what I mean, if you, if you like me. If you don't like me, that's that's okay too, you can still watch my videos and give it a like. Anyways, I gotta go, but before you leave, give me a kiss. Thanks. <laughs>